Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, real quick, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Today we are proceeding with DMOD Project Tacoma. I don't know. But anyway, today we're going to be taking out the kicker tweeters uh, that were actually sent to me by Dennis. And thanks again for that, Dennis. I really appreciate it. We're going to be taking those out of the Tacoma because I'm hoping they're going to fit in the sound system in the new Tacoma. We'll see. I really don't know about that. Uh, if you're looking to install these kicker tweeters, this would be the exact same installation as you would need to follow if you were looking to put them in. So, let's grab the OEMs, let's get to it, let's take those out, and I'll show you how it's done. Stay tuned. Okay, first things first, disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. That's going to take a 10 millimeter socket or wrench or a pair of pliers, whatever you have. I'll set you down here. You guys can uh, witness the removal of the terminal clamp. I've gotten some flack before about not doing this on some of the mods, and I don't do it all the time, but when I'm going to mess with electrical, uh, I usually do try to, to do this just to make sure that nothing bad happens. You know, you don't want any weird pops while you're messing with anything electrical. So we're going to go ahead, pull that off. There, it's removed. Now we're going to move in the truck. All you need to do this, some trim tools, your 10 millimeter socket here and a 10 millimeter wrench because of clearance and of course the speakers so let's get inside and get this done shouldn't take too long i hope okay got you guys all set up inside here with me as i mentioned uh good to have some trim tools this is what i use just some little plastic cheapo trim tools because you don't want to mar your plastic right so we have this little nub up here it says uh srs airbag on it for good reason because there's an airbag behind here so that's why we disconnected the battery let's go ahead and pop this little cover underneath there is a 10 millimeter bolt believe it or not so you just kind of grab the edge a little here somewhere wherever you can get a good edge and it just pops off that easily they did include a nice little holder here so it doesn't fall down all over the place and then we're going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt that's pretty simple And it's not in there very tight. One thing to remember when you uh, put it back in, don't kill it with uh, force. You know, you don't want to take out your uh, aggression on these bolts because they won't take it. <laughs> let's see. Let's get this thing out of here. Wow, look at that thing. Look how long that is. You guys see how long that is? Wow. All right, we're going to throw that down here on the inside. One of these little cubbies so we don't lose it. Now, we should be able to just pull off uh, this piece. It kind of has a little, couple little hooks down here, but it should pull off. So let's kind of squeeze it a little bit here at the top edge and pull a little. There. It really is that simple. Something fell off in there. I'm guessing that's where the bolt goes in. So we want to watch for that when we pull that off. I heard it. So let's just kind of... When I go that, and indeed, here is the little bolt part. I'm guessing that fits behind this uh, piece here. I'm not exactly sure where that came from. Let's take a look. Oops. Take a look inside here. Yeah, it fits right inside the uh, trim piece here. So if, if yours falls out, just make sure that you uh, grab it and put it back through. Maybe you can see it in there right there that nice shiny part right there so that didn't happen before but it happened now so we've got that in just kind of pushes in we'll set that aside and now we have to remove the uh, trim piece for or that covers the speakers rather the vent kind of thing so let me reposition you uh, so you can see that a little better and then we'll continue on okay hopefully uh, we have you in a little bit better position now this is the cover that we need to take off if I recall, it has two little prongs in the back up here that push in, and then the, the uh, little clips just pull up. So we're going to start in the front, uh, again with a trim tool. So we don't want to scratch anything. Yeah, it comes off pretty easy. At least that part. There, now we'll just use our hands, I think, because I remember they just kind of plug in there. Well, easier said than done, right? 
Oh, there's two, and then we have one on the other side over here. There, that's it. And then it just should pull out, and it does. You can see the two little nubs here. If I turn it, yeah, there. You got one up here, and one down here, and they just slip into the back. So we'll set that aside. Um, now, we just have to take the bolts out of here, or the screws, whatever you want to call them. There are two, one right here in the front and one right here in the back. This is where I said there's a clearance issue back here. You notice there's like no room, so you have to use a wrench to be able to get that one out. And we're going to start there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, finally, we got that out again. Look how long that thing is. Do we really need a bolt that long? I don't know. Set that aside. Let's tackle the other one with the socket. <laughs> That's going to be uh, quite refreshing. I need an extension, though, it looks like. Okay, not actually an extension. I'm just going to use a deep oil socket. Should be fine, I think. Not a whole lot of room for that either, but... There we go. Again, another freakishly long bolt. I'm going to go grab the speakers, which I forgot to bring with me, so we're ready to plug them in once I pull that one out. All right, we have the OEM speakers back here. I actually wrapped them in the plastic that the uh, kickers came in. So we're just going to pull the kicker out, put this one back in. We're going to need to disconnect the wire. Hopefully there's still enough room there. I don't know why there wouldn't be. But let's pull this out. It is very, very tight in here. Go ahead and see if we can't pull this connector out. Ah, there we go. There, the connector is out, the kicker is out. That's a good thing. So, let me show you real quick. The connector is just one of these push connectors you can see here. And the way it's in, the little push part of it's on this side right here where my thumb is pointing. So, that's what you need to plug back into the kicker speaker if you will so let's go ahead and get that going should be pretty simple I think there we go there hopefully you guys heard that little pop or snap snap crackle and pop there we go and we've got it seated back down there so now all we have to do is put the bolts back in or the screws whatever you might want to call them so, let's go ahead and do that part. I'm going to start up here in the front just so I can kind of hold it. Alright, we've got that one all the way down as far as I can go with my hand. Do the one over here, which is easier to get to, but stiffer to get in, if you will. Alright, and I'd say again, just about as much as you can go without really getting on it. It's all you really need to do. So, let's uh, go ahead and put our cover back on now. Again, it has these two little tabs that slide in the back first. So obviously you want to make sure you get those seated in there properly. And then we should be able to just slip it down in. like so. That takes care of that. Now I'll put you back up here. You can watch me try to finagle this uh, <laughs> trim piece on because that as I recall was rather difficult the last time. So let me move you around. Okay. Should have a pretty good angle for this I think. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get this back in here properly. You do have to kind of well, tuck down or tuck in this uh, 
plastic trim that's over here on the side. You'll have to tuck that down a little bit. So let's uh, try to do that at the same time we try to put this in. And I believe that's it. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby for a, an amateur. All right, let's put our bolt back in here. I should be a pro by now, really. I mean, how many times have I done this? Well, this will make two, I guess. So, let's uh, get our bolt back in up here. Yeah, you can crank on that one a little. All right, that's it. It's on, everything looks copacetic to me, so I'm going to go ahead and fasten this back in, our little holder, like that. Here you go. Nice, uh, clean install. Everything looks good to me. I don't see any issues. We're going to move over to the other side. Okay, over here on the passenger side, it's going to be almost the same procedure. It's dusty in here. You have to clean this thing out, that's for sure. Um, almost the same procedure. You have to remove uh, this handle, and that means undoing this and this cover. So let's do that because behind there, there are bolts, of course, uh, that you're going to need to access. So, ah, I'm going to do this one from the bottom if possible because the little clamp is at the top. There we go, not clamp, but holder. So there you go, you can see the two bolts, one here and one here. Pretty easy, and we don't have to use, well, we will need the wrench actually up there once we get to the cover, but let's go ahead and take these out. All right, there we go. Set the socket aside. You won't need that for a minute. Literally, probably a, a minute. All right, let's see if we can't pull this one out. It should be the same kind of thing. Squeeze it a little here at the top to release it a little. And just pull it straight out, just like the other. Fortunately, the little retaining bolts in here uh, right here. Let's see, right there and right down here are actually held in by the handle themselves, so they shouldn't fall out. Set that aside. Now we need to pry up this cover like we did on the other side, so let's grab our handy dandy pry tool. Again, these are invaluable if you're going to be doing any kind of mods, in my opinion. Anyway. Always be careful when you're doing this. And on this one, there's only two little prongs down in here. So we only have to hit those two. There's one already willing and uh, ready to come out. And there's the other. It's just that easy. And then it has the two little, uh, what do you want to call it, nubs on the end that slide up and under like the other side did. So let's set that aside. Okay, that should give you a pretty good view. Again, there's two screws bolts, holders, whatever you want to call them. We'll use a wrench for the back one once again. We have a little more room to work over here. I'm thankful for that, let me tell you. All right, got that bolt out. Let's go ahead and grab our speaker out of there. This one, let's see, the connection thing you need to push on is on this side. Yeah, I much prefer this side. Wow, a lot more room over here. I'm a little reluctant to let go of this, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I would hate to have it fall back behind the, uh, the dash, you know. That could make this project a much longer experience. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the bag. Set that aside, and we'll need to plug this in. One thing I'll say when you're hunting for your speaker, make sure you grab the right one. Be a real drag to take the one you just took out of the other side and put it in this side. Whether it's uh, a kicker you're putting in or uh, back to OEM, you know? So let's uh, 
that'd be a real drag. Snap this one in. And there you go. You probably could hear that snap, I think. And then we just lay it back down like so. And let's get our screw going again to hold it in the front since that's the easier access point. There, I think that'll be good. Now we just have to reassemble. So let's uh, put our cover back on over here. golden there. Now we need to put our uh, trim piece back on. This is always the most uh, harrowing part of the uh, job, I think. Make sure we get this in here correctly. All right, we've got that part finagled back in there. It really went in pretty easily. wasn't too difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. So now all I need to do is put the bolts back in. There, that's about it. We'll put our covers back on. There's one. And there's two. That's it. Okay, that is all there is to it. I've got the uh, kickers stored safely here in the box that they came in actually. So I'll hold on to these uh, until we get the new truck and see if indeed I can use these same speakers in the new, the new truck. I really hope so. I know they've changed the, uh, the radio a little bit, but I don't think they've changed the speakers or any of that kind of stuff and I would be shocked if they did, but we'll see. Anyway, that's how you change out uh, the speakers in your Toyota Tacoma. I highly recommend the kickers. They make a heck of a difference in uh, in sound, if you're into that thing, kind of thing. Uh, I really liked them in here, and I'll love them in the new truck, assuming they fit okay. Anyway, I've got to go in and, uh, and take a shower. It's hot out here. It's about 90 degrees. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Do you have the kickers? Have you done this install? How did it look? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day.